master to the pundit it is good to live in the company of holy men now and then the disease of worldliness has become chronic in man it is mitigated to a great extent in holy company i and mine that is ignorance true knowledge makes one feel oh god you alone do everything you alone are my own and to you alone belong houses buildings family relatives friends the whole world all is yours but ignorance makes one feel i am doing everything i am the doer house buildings family children friends and property are all mine once a teacher was explaining all this to a disciple he said god alone and no one else is your own the disciple said but revered sir my mother my wife and my other relatives take very good care of me they see nothing but darkness when i am not present how much they love me the teacher said there you are mistaken i shall show you presently that nobody is your own take these few pills with you when you go home swallow them and lie down in bed people will think you are dead but you will remain conscious of the outside world and will see and hear everything then i shall visit your home the disciple followed the instructions he swallowed the pills and lay as if unconscious in his bed his mother wife and other relatives began to cry just then the teacher came in in the guise of a physician and asked the cause of their grief when they had told him everything he said to them here is a medicine for him it will bring him back to life but i must tell you one thing this medicine must first be taken by one of his relatives and then given to him but the relative who takes it first will die i see his mother his wife and others here certainly one of you will volunteer to take the medicine then the young man will come back to life the disciple heard all this first the physician called his mother who was weeping and rolling on the ground in grief he said to her mother you don't need to weep any more take this medicine and your son will come to life but you will die the mother took the medicine in her hand and began to think after much reflection 
she said to the physician with tears in her eyes my child i have a few more children i have to think about them too i am wondering what will happen to them if i die who will feed them and look after them the physician next called the wife and handed the medicine to her she had been weeping bitterly too with the medicine in her hand she also began to reflect she had heard that she would die from the effect of the medicine at last with tears in her eyes she said he has met his fate if i die what will happen to my young children who will keep them alive how can i take the medicine in the meantime the disciple had got over the effect of the pills he was now convinced that nobody was really his own he jumped out of the bed and left the place with his teacher the guru said to him there is only one whom you may call your own and that is god therefore a man should act in such a way that he may have bhakti for the lotus feet of god and love god as his very own you see this world around you it exists for you only for a couple of days there is nothing to it 